Hello everyone. Today we will see uh, the false pel pelvis. What is the false pelvis? False pelvis is in rough idea. It is the upper part of the iliac crest. Okay. Down when it is going. When the labor is processed. Then the true pelvis is there. When the baby is inside the brim. Labor is processing. Then the baby is passing through the true pelvis. Now it is the false pelvis. Today we will see the false pelvis. So what is the false pelvis? It consists of mainly two iliac bone. False pelvis is consists of mainly two iliac bone with two iliac crust. Okay. There is a crust with two iliac crust on each side. Forming the superior, uh, forming the superior limits. The false pelvis does not have any bony boundary anteriorly. The false pelvis does not have any bony boundary anteriorly. Here it is the anterior part. Being boundary, being boundary an anterior abdominal wall is there and posteriorly it is bonded by and posteriorly you can see it is posteriorly bonded by the lumbar vertebrae and laterally by the iliac fossa. This is the iliac fossa. Laterally by the iliac fossa, posteriorly by the lumbar portion and anteriorly, anteriorly, anteriorly not bonded by any boundary of the bony boundary and being bounded by it is bounded by the anteriorly abdominal wall so false pelvis consists of two iliac bone superior uh, limits forming the superior limits the false pelvis does not have any bony any bony boundaries anteriorly being bounded by the being bonded by the anterior abdominal wall posteriorly it is bonded by the lumbar vertebrae and laterally by the iliac fossa so false pelvis has no obstetrical importance you understand that false pelvis has no obstetrical importance except to support the gravid uterus except to support the gravid uterus in the past it was taught to the indicate the shape and size of true pelvis which is not true okay so that is the false pelvis in next video we will see what is the true pelvis if you like my videos like it and support is okay bye bye